Walking on the beach, spliffing hand, enjoying life. No rhymes on my brain, sun is shining, can't complain. Just another day. Well, I'm from Montego Bay, Jamaica. I was born and raised in Jamaica and moved to America when I was 15. Growing up in Jamaica and Nantucket is very unique. I can relate to both sides. I can relate to the international market and the local market because they can both understand what I'm saying. I did dance hall just as a way to relate to people in my language that might not resonate with my raps and my lyrics and what I'm talking about. They will definitely relate to and understand what I'm saying in my dance hall formats, you know? For example, you hear my natural tone because the way I'm speaking right now is not my natural tone. If you want me to chat like this, we can chat like this. But to a foreign public, I'm easily understandable. My sound will bring the Caribbean to America, and also America to the Caribbean because it's so versatile. I love hip hop. I've always been listening to hip hop since I was like eight or nine when my uncle put me onto it. He had like huge record collections, like huge record collections of everybody you could think of, underground to like pop pop to the top top. He had everybody, everybody you could think of. I'm very optimistic in my work because I feel like once people hear it, it will be, it will go amongst the greats and hopefully carve out my own space in hip hop. I want my name in history next to Bob My big thing is inspiring people. I, if I can inspire someone to pick up a pen and pad and write a song to say, well, you know what, man, I don't need to sell drugs, you know. I'm, I can do it another way, or I don't need to kill anybody, or I, need to, I don't need to do anything, you know? I can just chase my dream with a goal in mind and that there's a big chance you'll get it, you know? I just wanna, I just wanna show that, I wanna be that example. I see my lane forming, I miss you in the morning.